Hey everybody, just uh, getting ready to make my Martin, Martin, Martin balls that I use for, uh, my, well I guess obviously Martin bait I use. Uh, this is, I, I don't know, I've been trying some other stuff this year, some a little bit of moose meat, a little bit of chicken and stuff, but I'm going back because everything's slowed down for Martin. I just finished pulling my line and getting all my traps ready. Looking, we're we'll trying to set at least two dozen, hopefully tomorrow. But uh, this is my ingredients. This is my bucket where I mix up, mash up my sardines. Instead of, I don't know, beige colored nylons. <laughs> one size, I like the smaller ones because then they're not as big in the leg. And my cans of sardines. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you what kind of sardines they are. You might be able to read it, but uh, I use I like the sardines and soy. Those are the best ones. So those are the ingredients, and I'll uh, I'll turn you back on here when I start the other steps in it. All right, there's uh, 18 cans of sardines and soy mushed up. Here's my nylons. I'm gonna hand you over there. And with my nylons, I've already cut the underwear piece off. And about finger length, you just cut them. Oh, of course, they're gonna be difficult. Just like that. What you want to do is you want to tie one end. Or just loop it around, tie it in a little bit of a knot like that. And then I'm going to chop up a bunch of these more and get and prepare them. Then I'll slap on some gloves, but then they open up like that. You just fill them full of sardines, which will be the next step I record. And then you tie the end. Then you got a Martin ball that I Martin bait ball that I like to use. Ew. So yeah, that'll be the next step. So let me prepare some of these the nylons, and then I will show you the stuffing and the tying of the bait ball. And and the reason I like to do this instead of just mushing it up and then just throwing it right in the box is because we deal with cold temperatures. So with these bait balls, when they freeze, you just take them out, drop them in there because there's always sardine oils and they will, they'll thaw out, they'll soak up some more of that oil and then I can reuse it. And you can do this, I would say four or five times before your bait gets too, uh, too stinking. It'll get sort of like a, a metallic or something like that smell to it that'll be that's when we'll change it out and we'll, I'll make a new batch of this stuff because nothing likes too too rotten but anyway I'll turn you on to the next step which would be right about now I got a bunch of them tied are ready to go put on my gloves because you got to do a lot of handling and you know you don't want this stuff smelling on your hands so there's two there. Like I said, you grab the one. Just tie the end of it. And you open it up. And just like that. I just fold it around my hand, scoop it in, get a good size, fold it over. And then tie it off again on the other end. And that is my Martin bait ball. You can trim off the excess if you'd like to, but that's just more handling. And that's how I like to do my Martin stuff, my Martin lures. Put them in a container. It'll be easy. I'll, I'll put so many in here, and that's what I'll be. I'll use to uh, set out my first sets. And then once they're refill, once they're full, I'll take what I'll uh, fill it back up again. So when I go out, I'll have a full one, 
and I'll be able to just switch them out as, as needed. So this is what I'll be doing. This is what I do for my Martin on normal basis. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go set them all out in the next little while, and or hopefully go set them tomorrow, so I can do a check Boxing Day. But yeah, that's how I do my Martin. Thanks, thanks for coming along, and I hope you enjoyed it.